All right, so what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story actually takes place, funny enough, not that long ago. And by not that long ago, I mean actually two years ago. You see, two years ago today, I was just getting into my YouTube career. I just started streaming a lot more, and honestly, I really started to figure my life out, realizing that I was more built to make YouTube videos than actually being called Bubba Streams. Which is kind of funny, because I have a channel called Bubba, and then there's Bubba Streams. So it's kind of awkward having both, but at the same time, you guys get the gist. Also, for the people saying that I don't stream, I do stream a lot, actually. And I stream a lot more on Kick.com. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a new website that basically every creator is going to, including me. So I highly advise you guys go check it out, kick.com slash Bubba, and the link will be down in the description below. But going on with the story, two years ago today, I remember basically one of the most craziest things happened. Where basically, I remember one time I was going on my phone, messaging some girls, you know, doing the same old average thing that I usually do. And since I lived by myself two years ago, and still still do technically. I won't lie. It gets really lonely living by yourself. So I remember I would always invite people, including like a lot of girls, guys sometimes to hang out with me and just chill, you know, simple things like that. But then I remember there was one girl that I actually ended up reaching out to. And this was a girl that was added on my Snapchat a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean like back when I was in high school a long time ago. Now this girl and I, we always had each other added, but we never really hit each other up. I think I added her from like a dating app or something. To be honest, I'm not really sure. But all I remember is, is that I sent a photo of like my place basically of how I like changed the look of it somewhat and for some reason this girl decided to swipe up that day on that image I posted on snapchat and she ended up saying oh my goodness like your place looks so cool me knowing she said that honestly first thing I decided to say to kind of like pull in the w riz was oh yeah like you should come over and check it out sometime and right when I said that I'm not even joking she jumped the opportunity like no tomorrow like no joke she jumped straight forward saying oh like I'd be down like when you free uh I guess today is what I I told her and then from there i remember she got really excited and ended up saying that she'll be there around later at night I ended up asking her why she wanted to come at late at night and she ended up saying that she was going to work and she had to work a full shift before coming to see me. And funny enough, her work wasn't actually even that far from me. She apparently worked at a club that was literally like a two minute walk from my place. So I said, sure, like I'm down and me thinking that she's literally going to come off work and basically come straight to my house. My guess was that she was probably going to stay the night because I don't know, after a hard day of work, do you really want to like, you know, bust all the way back home? I know I wouldn't. So I remember from there, I basically got cleaning up the place even more and basically made sure everything was ready and then i remember midway through her shift i remember i ended up getting a phone call now i found it weird that she called me because i never gave her my number so i found it super weird so when i answered the phone and i heard her voice i said oh like yo by the way like how'd you get this number as we're like mid conversation about what we're gonna do tonight she ended up saying how apparently she knew a friend that was a friend of mine as well that had my number i don't know some stalker stuff i i won't lie to you and i found it awkward but i said oh like it's fine like you know that's chill whatever it is what it is and then basically just started talking about what i had planned. I ended up telling her how I was just going to order sushi and to be honest, watch a movie because that's all I really wanted to do personally. But then she ended up saying, oh, like, okay, like, that's fine. Also, is it cool if I shower at your place? You want to shower at my place is what I said. And then she ended up explaining how she doesn't want to stink while being with me and stuff because she literally just gets off work. And in my mind, I thought, yeah, it's true. In clubs, you do get stinky, you know, since she works at a club. So I ended up telling her it was fine and that, you know, I'll have a towel set up for her. And at that point, I remember right afterwards, she ended up asking oh, like do you have like a pair of sweatpants yeah I, I i do is what i said and it got to the point where it was super weird for me because not only was she gonna come over and shower she was also going to literally wear my clothing which is i guess awkward in its own situation but i decided to pull it aside and say you know what we're older now we're adults who cares you know it's just clothing and taking a shower it can't be that big of a deal anyways as the day was going on i remember basically i kept doing my work which was basically streaming and recording and making these crazy videos that you guys enjoy and then i ended up getting a message midway through a recording where it was her saying oh like i got off early i'm gonna come over wait what apparently she literally cut four hours off her shift just to like come over i guess and see me i have no idea but as odd as it sounded i remember i said you know it's whatever it's fine and i ended up letting her come over when she came over i remember i went downstairs since i live in an apartment and basically went to go get her and brought her upstairs and when i brought her into my place i'm not gonna lie she was amazed that i was a youtuber but not only that she found it really awesome how 
how I did it full time. And by the way, make sure you just do leave a like on this video because like I said, it's my full time job to make these videos. So please show some love. Anyways, going on from there, I remember basically as I, like me and her were just talking and we sat on the couch, she instantly got up after like two minutes of sitting down on the couch telling me how her work shift was and said, okay, like, so like, can I take a shower? I ended up saying, yeah. And I ended up basically taking her to the bathroom. I showed her around just to make sure she kind of gets the gist of the area, I guess. And she automatically said, oh, like, okay. And then that's when I started to leave the bathroom. But as I started to leave the bathroom, I remember this girl was like, uh, where are you going? I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving to go to my desk is what I said to her. And then she ended up saying, oh, like, you're not going to join me for the shower. Uh, why would I do that? Is what I said. And then that's automatically when she started taking off her clothing. And I realized that this girl wanted to do the devil's tango right off the bat. And well, if you know me well enough, you know that I never turned down the devil's tango. So at that point, I remember I started taking off my clothing. We went into the shower and we ended up doing the devil's tango in the shower. So as we were doing it in the shower, I remember basically the hot water was put all the way to the max because you know i guess she likes taking hot showers and me and her we were just doing it but i remember as i was hitting it from the back out of nowhere and i mean it this was literally out of nowhere she told me that you know she was tired and she needed to stop i remember i like literally stopped everything i was doing and i literally decided to literally say okay well like you know i'll stop and then for some reason she was you know, basically doing her normal shower routine, but out of nowhere, and I mean it, this was really out of nowhere, the girl ended up fainting. She fainted in my shower. Now, at that point, I was freaking out. I was thinking, whoa, okay, what's going on here? What, why, why'd she just faint? I thought she was maybe trolling, so I remember I ended up saying, okay, just get up, stop joking around, but she wasn't getting up. So at that point, I was freaking out. I'm like, okay, this is not good. This is the worst thing that could probably happen. Okay, this is really bad. So I start freaking out. I start, you know, panicking, and it got to the point where I decided to do the one thing that I was told to do when someone faints. And that's when I called 911. I remember I called 911 and automatically the ambulance came and, you know, one thing led to another. I had to explain to the cops what happened. When I looked at the police officers, the police officers looked at me really weird because my hair was wet and so was hers. So they looked at me and said, oh, like, were you guys just at the pool? Oh, no, we were, we were in the shower. Oh, so this is your girlfriend is what the cop said to me. Um, no, it's just a girl that I um, decided to hang out with for the first time today is what I said afterwards. He looked at me really awkwardly and said, so you guys were in the shower together and then she just fainted. And then that's when I told him that I inserted my massive eggplant into her and uh, one thing led to another, she fainted. I remember the cops looked at me super awkwardly and like, out of nowhere, like the cop was just really weirded out because, you know, it's not normal for a guy with such a massive eggplant, aka me, to make a girl faint out of nowhere. So at that point, I remember basically he ended up saying, oh, like, do you want to come with her to the hospital? And as much as I didn't want to personally, I knew that the cop already had a bad idea of me. So I decided to be a nice guy and basically tag along for the ride and go to the, all the way to the hospital just to realize that her blood sugar was low. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It was a super awkward experience, but it's one thing for sure to say that hopefully maybe you know next time maybe she should eat like a cookie before i do her in the shower all right you guys that is it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join me live on kick.com slash bubba for awesome live streams and crazy stories just like this one anyways like i always say for more embarrassing stories peace out guys